Okay, in this short video, I'll show you how to use Oracle Resource Manager stack to create your environment. So now that you've gone through uh, the various the, first, the, the prerequisite of you know create, having your SSH keys available and reviewing uh, the other prerequisite to run your lab, uh, it's time to proceed and create your uh, your environment. All right. So here we're gonna go to the menu here, go down to Resource Manager and stack. All right. So create stack. So we're going to keep default here, my configuration, and I'm going to drag my zip file that I downloaded as indicated in documentation here. So drag it here. This contain uh, my entire configuration. All right. So we keep the default name, uh, description is already provided there. Uh, we're going to go next. So in this case, um, let's say you're just creating one instance, you just leave the count here to one, or but if you were creating for a team of let's say 10 developers or 10 uh, DBA or 10 users, um, then you will change that count accordingly, All right? So in this case, we're only gonna do one, All right? Uh, select an availability domain. So let's say we pick availability domain three, and then I have to put my SSH key, the public key, not the private, the public key that uh, created earlier, you put it here, all right? And there you go. Make sure that uh, it's properly formatted, no extra characters. And then the next option is to uh, decide whether you're gonna use a flexible shape or a standard shape, a standard fixed shape, right? So the flexible shape here gives you the opportunity to choose, um, you know, how many OCPU uh, you want in your instance, depending on your capacity, depending on what you have in your, uh, your tenant. Uh, and the coda, um, you can then select, uh, you know, how many CPU, let's say here, I'm gonna get six OCPU per instance, right? Oh, uh, I can just leave it to the default. The default is four, which is, you know, sufficient to run those lab, you know, successfully and, you know, in, in timely. All right, so we got those. Um, and we have to decide here if we wanna use, have this stack create a VCN or use an existing VCN. Right, so if you want to use an existing VCN, then we click this option. As you see, additional option are presented. So we have to select a VCN that is available, um, and then a subnet, a public subnet, a regional public subnet that is available in that subnet as well, in that uh, VCN. So we got to select that, right? And bear in mind that they have to conform to the requirement in terms of the port. So port 7803 for EM console, and port 22 for SSH has to be available on that CN, uh, that VCN. If you're not sure, just uncheck this and let the system create, let the stack create a VCN for you that conform to the norms, right? So as you can see here, like I said, you can use that flex or if you just want to use the standard fixed shape, you can uncheck this and use, you know, any of these, right? E2.4 will be four OCPU, eight OCPU, 16 and so forth. You can select that if you want to fix fixed shape. Um, so, and what if you selected maybe flexship and you don't have the quota for it? Um, I have another tenant here with that kind of situation where if I go there, let me show you that. Um, if I go to that tenant, in this case, you see, I've tried to use flex, flexible shape, but there's no, there's no, uh, there's none available, right? So if I try to proceed with this, I see that error saying, hey, I need a flex shape for you to proceed, right? So in this case, what you're gonna have to do is to use a standard shape because the standard shape at least will be there, right? And pick from the standard shape, right? So that's not our case here. So we're gonna go back to uh, where we have an available shape. So, and then now we proceed next. We review this and create, all right? It is created now just to validate, which is optional, but I recommend it. So do a plan, validate. All right, it's gonna run pretty quick here. Should be done very soon. So this is pretty much done here. So when we execute this, it's gonna create eight resources, 
right? And those are all the various resources, you know, included here. So for VCN, we can see here that it's creating, you know, all the ingress rules uh, that we need to execute this. It's creating the subnet, you know, the route and all that for that specific VCN, right? And it's creating the instance, you know, one instance and everything else, right? So that's good. Now, this is where the real execution comes in. So we're going to do an apply. Apply. All right, it's going to run here for maximum five minutes and everything uh, will be created. So just pause for a minute here and wait for it to complete. So it's processing here, as you can see, all the subscription to marketplace item has been uh, completed here. So actually uh, we're done. Uh, the instance has been created. That's the instance name and that's the IP address. Um, as we can see here, we can look at further look at the application description here. We know that this is uh, an EM13C workshop out of marketplace. And this was created. Uh, it's a multi-lab workshop environment and using created on standard E3 flex for flexible shape. So we can adjust the CPU um, if we choose to. And that's the name of the instance and IP addresses. If we have multiple, all the names will be shown here and all the IP addresses also will be shown here, just like, um, you know, this output down here, all right? So having said that, we can go and check our instance now and see, look at compute. And we should see the instance there. And there you go. This is our instance that just got created, right? So right now it's provisioning. So we did four OCPU for the flex. Each OCPU comes with 16 gig of memory. So, so we have 64 gig there per, for that specific instance, right? So, so this is provisioning, uh, I mean, this is done. And now it's doing behind the scene, it's doing, um, you know, starting database, starting EM, uh, and, you know, within a maximum of 10 minutes, everything should be, should be up and running. So I'll pause here uh, for a minute and show you how to log in after this is done. Okay, now we're gonna copy, uh, you know, public IP address there and open the URL and go to EM console, GPS for slash, the IP address column, the port 7803 slash EM. So this is normal expected because of this uh, certificate not being, you know, a valid certificate, this is a demo environment. So accept that and proceed all right and then log in and there you go now you're ready to start your labs so you know all labs that you see in the menu on um, on the menu on the um, documentation on the left on the right side of the menu uh, should be able to execute all those labs you know now all right Thank you. This completes our video.